Hi. Welcome back to the hsebox.com channel. In this video, we will talk about the top 10 essential statutory HSE documents for construction sites. Let's get started. The construction industry is a dynamic and vital sector, but it also presents inherent risks to workers, the environment, and the community. Ensuring the health, safety, and environmental well-being of all involved is paramount. One crucial aspect of achieving this is the presence and utilization of statutory health, safety, and environment, HSE, documents on construction sites. In this video, we will explore the essential statutory HSE documents that every construction site should have. Each document plays a unique role in promoting safety, compliance, and responsible practices, thus fostering a secure and sustainable construction environment. Number 1. Risk Assessment and Method Statements, RAMS Risk Assessment and Method Statements, RAMS, are fundamental documents that identify potential hazards in construction tasks and outline the methods to mitigate those risks. They ensure that workers are aware of the dangers involved in specific activities and that safety measures are in place. Number 2. Construction Phase Plan the Construction Phase Plan is an overarching document that lays out how health and safety will be managed during a construction project. It includes details about responsibilities, procedures, and coordination among all parties involved. Number 3. Health and Safety Policy The Health and Safety Policy is a foundational document that demonstrates a construction company's commitment to safety. It outlines organizational goals, responsibilities, and procedures for maintaining safety throughout the project. Number 4. Work Permits and Authorizations Work permits and authorizations are essential for specific tasks, such as hot work, confined space entry, or working at heights. They ensure that workers have permission to perform these tasks and that proper safety measures are in place. Number 5. Emergency Response Plan An emergency response plan outlines actions to be taken in the event of emergencies, including evacuation procedures, communication strategies, and medical response plans. It ensures that all workers know how to respond during crises. Number 6. Environmental Impact Assessment, EIA An Environmental Impact Assessment, EIA, evaluates the potential environmental consequences of a construction project. It proposes mitigation measures to minimize negative impacts on the environment and local ecosystems. Number 7. Waste Management Plan A waste management plan details how construction waste will be managed, disposed of, and recycled. It aims to minimize the environmental impact of waste generated during the construction process. Number 8. Noise and Vibration Assessment Noise and Vibration Assessments identify potential sources of noise and vibration from construction activities. They outline measures to mitigate these effects on workers and nearby communities ensuring compliance with noise regulations. Number 9. Air Quality Management Plan An air quality management plan addresses potential air pollutants generated during construction. It includes strategies to control dust, emissions, and other air quality concerns to protect both workers and the environment. Number 10. Water Pollution Prevention Plan The Water Pollution Prevention Plan outlines measures to prevent water pollution on the construction site. It includes sediment control, proper disposal of construction materials, and procedures for responding to spills to protect water bodies. Do you agree with this list? Is there any other document that is more important? Let us know in the comments section below. In the construction industry, safety and environmental responsibility are non-negotiable. The essential statutory HSE documents discussed in this guide serve as the backbone of a secure and compliant construction site. Each document plays a unique role in safeguarding workers, the environment, and the community while ensuring legal compliance. By diligently implementing these documents, construction professionals contribute to a safer, more responsible, and sustainable construction environment, setting a high standard for the industry as a whole. We hope that this video gives you a better understanding of health, safety, and the environment. If you have any queries, please leave a comment and we would be glad to assist you. Check our website and our channel for more health, 
safety, and environmental topics. The link is in the description. Never forget health, safety, and environment are everyone's responsibility. Stay safe always. Bye bye, see you in the next video.